I want to share one more passage from the Word of God. It's the most important thing you can do is to listen to what God has to say. That God will be your judge. Psalm 52. Why do you boast in evil, O mighty man? The goodness of God endures continually. Your tongue devises destruction. Your coaxing and your comforting your girlfriend or wife to kill your child. Your tongue devises destruction. Like a sharp razor working deceitfully. You love evil more than good. You love evil more than good. Lying rather than speaking righteousness. You love all devouring words, you deceitful tongue. God shall likewise destroy you forever. He shall take you away and pluck you out of your dwelling place and uproot you from the land of the living. This is something that should put fear in our hearts, knowing that Almighty God, your Creator, the one who gives you life and breath, speaks these words over those who reject Him and are His enemies. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at Him, saying, Here is the man who did not make God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches that he made in an abortion clinic, as an abortion clinic employee, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But then the man of God says, But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise you forever because you have done it. And in the presence of your saints, I will wait on your name, for it is good. We see the difference between those who are God's enemies. Who have made themselves enemies of God. And likewise, God has made himself your enemy. And those who humble themselves. And God declares righteous. Not by any act of their own and not by any work of their own. But because instead of being proud and haughty and deceitful. And living a rebellious life and not humbling themselves. They say, I'll make my own path. I'll live my own life. And if an innocent child gets in the way, let that child die. Because I'm going to plow ahead and cause all kinds of havoc and destruction. But I'm going to live like I want. God laughs at that person. God will judge that person. But God offers mercy. He offers forgiveness if you will humble yourself. And you move from that place of haughtiness and rebellion and with a murderous spirit and you put yourself in a place of humility and brokenness and acknowledge your fault, acknowledge your sin, acknowledge which led you to this place and plead with God for the mercy and strength to do what is right from here on out. God's gracious and merciful and He will give you the strength to do what's right this morning. And He sent people here who care about you who will speak strong and harsh words because you need to hear it. After all, you're at a place that's ready to kill your child. Don't be an enemy of God. Don't let God fall on you with wrath and judgment. Plead for mercy. He extends it if you humble yourself. But don't wait for the person to get here who will use their tools of death to suck your son apart. Think about that. A father would sit in a parking lot and his son, his son, he would pace a stranger to kill. Think of the cowardice, the horrible lack of character that has become you. Guys, you've messed up, but let's do right. Go in and rescue your son or your daughter. Don't sit here and let someone kill your own child. There's no mercy for the hard-hearted unrepentant. You stand guilty. Guilty before God. And I plead with you to ask God for mercy and do what is right. Show that you're repentant. Bring forth fruits of repentance. And don't kid yourself into saying, I'll kill my baby tomorrow and I'll get right with God the day after. Or I'll kill my baby today and get right with God tomorrow. If you'd harden yourself to the point of being offered help, free help, and sit here for hours and making sure your baby dies, 
It's doubtful whether you'll humble yourself tomorrow. In Romans, Paul talks about those who are given over to a reprobate mind because they continue to do the wicked things over and over and over. We harden our heart, we deaden our conscience to a holy God who pleads with us. Pleads with us to turn to Him. God's Word says that God is not willing. He doesn't want anyone to perish, to face His judgment. But He wants all to come to repentance. That's his desire. But the sad, horrifying fact is the desire of men often is to spurn that mercy and say, no, I'll face you in judgment. And that's a scary place to be, facing God without his mercy on the day of judgment and bearing your own sin. Jesus offered to bear your sin for you. But he doesn't bear it for a haughty, reprobate, hard-hearted guy. A father who will kill his child and say all is well and will reject God's offers for mercy. I want to encourage you to turn to for mercy today. Man up, go in and rescue your baby. Text the lady inside, let her know whatever needs y'all have. That y'all thought there was no way of meeting those needs and this was the best option. Let her know that the ministry is out here will help meet those specific needs, each of them. Or will you sit here and wait till your child, your son or daughter is mutilated and put into a bloody garbage pail? Shame on you if that's your choice. Be a man today, guys. You can do it.